the developed world as well as in the developing world, what we've been seeing is a huge rise in alternative work arrangements. These could be gig economy jobs, these could be platform jobs, these could be independent contractors, zero hour contracts. What we want to understand is how much of this is driven by flexibility and how much of it is driven by workers actually wanting to have a more permanent, stable job. How much do they value stability as opposed to flexibility? One of the things we do is to design an experiment to try and sort of elicit out of people how much they're willing to pay to be able to have, say, a 50-day job guarantee, 150 days, 200 days. And where we do the surveys in India, with about 15,000 workers, mostly largely urban. The biggest job guarantee program that exists in the world, in fact, probably the biggest social welfare program that exists in the world, is the Indian Rural Job Guarantee Scheme. And what it does is, rural workers in India, it guarantees every household 100 days of paid work if they haven't had any work at all in a particular year. So if you're an urban area worker, you're not really eligible for that job guarantee. And yet what we've been hearing over the past few years is that a lot of the informalization of work has happened in these urban markets as well. So we want to try and understand how much do workers in these developing urban areas value job guarantees. We find that workers, in fact, do value these job guarantees. And what typically they're willing to pay for, say, a 100-day guarantee is about 15% of their median wage. So we're talking about fairly substantial numbers that they're willing to give up to be able to have this level of guarantee. What we can learn from this about both developing country labor markets as well as developed country labor markets is that we can't immediately jump to the conclusion that these gig economy jobs as well as other forms of self-employment are really there for workers who value flexibility. It seems to suggest that, in fact, a lot of them are jobs which otherwise these workers would rather have some stability attached to.